Thank you for listening to the Fail Safe Moment. Grab a cup of coffee and let's join Rob Statham for another informative discussion helping people learn from things that go wrong. Uh, Fail Safe is passionate about helping people and organizations learn from things that go wrong. And we believe the key to improve uh, your organization or your life is in understanding latency. So today we want to talk about the four day experience. And we're honored to have Bob Nelms with us, the founder of Failsafe. Um, welcome, Bob. Probably the foundation of Failsafe, I think, is uh, at least our training is the four day latent cause experience. And um, I've been uh, I've been talking to people about it honestly as a four day life changing experience. Um, for a few reasons. I mean, back 20 something years ago is when we met uh, at Billings and I was able to go through the four day root cause experience. It was even before the, the name was changed. And um, I, it was life, it was a life changing experience for me. I showed up thinking one thing of going to a root cause failure analysis class. And uh, I came out of there thinking about things that uh, were completely off my radar uh, Monday morning. And I remember Thursday night um, thinking about things that uh, made me made me a better employee, a better supervisor, um, honestly, a better person. That's why um, I can't get over people going through the class and and loving it i mean oh yeah oh yeah i can't i'm not going to just repeat what you just said although i could but i i agree with every word you just said but in reflecting back um before i met you for example before the van fire especially uh the class was totally different and Mm. and it was more or less designed for people who wanted to lead major investigations. And uh, uh, and and the response of the people, it was good. People liked it. But it wasn't this life-changing experience that, that it is today. Uh, and again, in reflecting about the whole thing, I'm embarrassed to say this. I forget when the van caught fire. Was it 1996? Yes. Okay. So and so before 1996 is 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 one thing. After 1996 is another thing. And uh, it, 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 you know the Van Fire. The, the the thing about it is it, that the Van Fire changed me, uh, yeah. and it changed me because for some reason I chose to use it in a classroom and open myself up. You know, uh, become vulnerable. Um, uh, and I, I think in doing that, uh, people uh, tended to do it also, tended to want to do it also, or saw the value in it. Uh, uh, you know, the, the four-day class, as you know, is interesting because, like you say, they walk in on day one and they're expecting one thing. Yeah. And on day one, the kinds of things you talk about are jarring to them. And even on day one, they walk out of there saying, what in the heck is this? This is nothing like I thought it was going to be. And uh, and then on day two, you get into more of the specifics, you know, the evidence gathering, the, the, the three P's, uh, all that stuff. And it gets more uh, meaty, I guess. Uh, but then on day three, at least with the Van Fire example, at least when I was doing it, they started wondering, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait just one minute. Is this the instructor's van? Is 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 this him? And and then as day th- three goes on, they realize it, it is him because the evidence, it's in the evidence. I mean, the paper evidence shows that this is that guy's van. This is him. And and then when the, the interview results are shared and and what the wife says about the husband and the husband says about the wife. I mean, uh, I think it's a life-changing experience because anytime we ask or suggest 
that somebody does something in a certain way, mm -hmm. we had better be willing to do it ourselves first. That's that's the definition of a true leader. And if we're not willing to do it first, how dare we expect anybody else to do it? So, uh, yeah, the, most people walk out of there blown away. Now, what, what they do with it afterwards, I honestly don't know, Rob, but uh, maybe you sh can share some thoughts about that. Well, you know, uh, on the front page of our website, uh, when it comes up and uh, we have the logo Fail Safe Network and the next tagline that people see are developing leaders for life. And uh, I agree with you a thousand percent uh, that that's the definition of a true leader. Uh, someone that, that will go there themselves, not, uh, not stand back and expect people to do things that, that you won't do. Um, and I think that's one thing that makes it so successful. Um, the, the process, not just the class, but the process, um, because that's, uh, that's that's what it requires everyone to do, right? It uh, that's why I think we we have developing leaders for life. If if you go through the process, it's a very healthy, respectful way to put you in that place that you have to go through it. You you can't you can't sit in the corner and watch other people go through it. You actually participate, and uh, it's not just who the one person is that it happened to, because we all contribute. Uh, you get in that room, and it's like a spotlight goes around, right? There's times you feel like the spotlight's on you. There's times it's on someone else, but uh, it brings out compassion. It brings out honesty, right? It's 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 a place that brings the truth out uh, in a way that normally between emails and texts and people having one-on-one -on -one conversations out in the plant or in the hall, it never comes out. But when you get them in that room uh, and walk through that process in the class, recreates that. Uh, so for, for the first time in most people's life, when they attend that, that class, uh, they go through an experience that they don't get regularly at work uh, or anywhere else they've been. And, uh, yeah, it's a taste of all of that. So, um, I think, uh, one of the things you said that I, I'll never forget opening the class is, uh, this will be an experience because you can't struggle with evidence. You can't look at evidence for four days and it not be an experience. And, uh, I equate now evidence to truth. Right. And that's that's what it feels like. Yeah. It, so it changes you when when you look at that stuff. That's interesting. What you, one of the things you said that interested me just now is that uh, when people are in the hallway at work and they're standing around the water cooler or the coffee pot or whatever, none of these things come out. Uh, but when you put them in this class, they do come out. And I, as you were talking, I was wondering, why is that? What what is it about the class that 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 helps that to happen? And maybe you just said it at the end there. I I don't. Is it evidence? Is it the fact that we that we are looking at evidence and you can't look at it without it revealing things? Is that is that it, or is it something else? I I think it's both. I think it's double-sided, I guess, double-edged. I, I think evidence is critical. That's one side of the blade. I think the other side of the blade is uh, one of the topics I have written down here that I want to talk to you about is blame. We ban blame. And uh, when, when at the water cooler, blame's not banned. So at the coffee pot, and you go, oh, Heard we had an incident over in Zone E. Oh, yeah, some moron hooked up a hose to a water tank, right? And no one thinks that it had anything to do with them. And uh, blame is just rampant. Uh, I think it's our nature. Um, and evidence, evidence shows us our part. So I think they go hand in hand. I do. 
Um, it's a There's little one bit more like thing. a rock there, tumbler. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, Rob, but that, there is one more thing that I don't think you can take away, and that is the – I'm not saying this to build myself up or you, okay, but the skill of the facilitator, I mean, you you draw people out, and you uh, challenge people. And like you say, at the coffee pot, that's not done. But when you draw people out and when you challenge people – not in a bad way, of course, but in a you know constructive way, everybody else is hearing that, and 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 then they chime in, and there there's uh, again th this is a four day experience, a four day class. It could very easily be maybe even a one day class if all you did is talk about the method, mm. but it's four days because of all the interaction that occurs. And the bouncing off of thoughts and ideas and struggles and uh, gee, just talking about this makes me miss it. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no doubt the uh, the bonds that people have over four days. Um, and uh, honestly, I there there you do have to have people with a bent to lead it. Uh, maybe some. Um, uh, it, it, it's it's passion, right? That they want to get to the truth. I think they'll get there. Um, you're the one that should get all the credit for developing the process, because that we have a process now that draws those people out. I mean, all you have to do is follow the process, and the process works, right? Because we base all of our conversations on evidence. I don't confront people. If, if they disagree with something or if they agree with something, I ask the same question. What evidence do you have for that? And the person across the way will disagree. And what evidence do you have for that? Mm -hmm. And when you have 25 people looking at the same evidence, I, I say it all, a normal, healthy person will draw the same conclusions. Yeah, and that's right. It's the process that does that. Um, helps people. I, I agree you do have to have uh, an advocate, a leader of that process that understands the process and cares about people, uh, that there's an empathy about people, but they have a passion for the truth, right? They, they're not so weak that they go, well, I just don't want to go there. Um, you you want to get to the truth, but you want to do it in the healthiest way uh, I've ever seen to do it uh to where you're not hurting people um uh, i think that was one of the taglines on everything uh in fact the first thing you see on our website right underneath fail safe network uh we help people learn from things that go wrong and the second part is without hurting them in the process right right thank you for listening to the fail safe moment we'd love to hear from you Share your comments and questions below or contact us through our website, www.failsafe-network.com. Once again, that's www.failsafe-network.com. Until next time, have a great day.